Today we're going to add social media to our WordPress website using the power of Add This. Uh, we're here at the Marketing Den and as you scroll down my website you can see that there's really no social sharing options for my blog posts. There's nothing that pops out in your face letting you know that it's safe to share the content. But we're going to fix that here in a second. The first thing you need to do is open up a new tab and go to Google. Then type in Add This. The first website that pops up is Add This. Go ahead and click on that link. Now I just discovered this website a few days ago and to be honest with you I'm extremely impressed with it. All the sharing options are very intuitive. You can scroll down the home page and read a, bit, a little bit about it. There's sharing buttons, follow buttons, welcome bar, and my, my favorite is the trending content. So if you haven't created an account, go ahead and create an account with Add This, and then log in and come back to this page. Once you've logged in, go ahead and click on Get the Code. Now they call these smart layers. Apparently they don't disru disrupt any code on your website and they're supposed to work seamlessly with your WordPress website. I've already tested it and it's proven to work very well. So we're going to scroll down here and we're going to customize our sh social sharing options. The first one is follow. You can choose whether you want Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, or Google on this one. This is going to appear in the top right of your screen as you can see over here in the top right of your screen on your website of course. These are the following buttons. These are the buttons people are going to click to go to your Facebook fan page or your Twitter account or whatever. I have Facebook and Twitter enabled. That's all I really use because I don't need to be on 10 different social websites and not getting any work done. So now that we've customized this option, go ahead and close it. The next one is sharing buttons. Those appear on the right or left of your screen as you're scrolling down the content of a website. And you can choose to have up to six buttons on this. I'm personally, personally going to turn it off because since I'm already using the follow buttons in the top right and I'm going to be using some other sharing options, I don't want to overload my website with a bunch of social buttons. So the next one is what's next this is going to give your viewers recommendations on your website in the bottom right of the screen I'm gonna keep this on I think it's really intuitive I think it's very cool and it's unique and not a lot of people have this right now so we're gonna keep that one now the recommended content you can turn that on for now that's gonna appear in the bottom of the website and it's going to bring up a lot of recommended content. Personally, I think that's just too big and bulky, and I don't want a hundred different social sharing options like I suggested before to wait on the website. If you guys want to use this, go ahead, but I would suggest not using what's next if you're going to use recommended content. And if you click over here in a tablet, you'll see that on an iPod, iPod it'll, it'll look like this and on an iPhone or Android the recommended content will look like this the sh and let's see okay the share will show up right here also that's pretty cool but like I said I'm not trying to wait on my site so all I want is to follow in the top right the recommended content in the bottom right I'm going to close that one now and go to more options. I'm going to click back over on desktop to, so you can see what it'll look like on your website. I really like this demo over here they have. It gives a really nice preview of what it's going to appear like on your website. You can choose whether you want transparency or if you want a background behind your sharing options. Light, gray, or dark. I'm going to go with gray because my website has a gray background and it'll look very nice that way. So now that we've done that, well here I'm going to click off recommended content. I don't want that. I just want the follow and the, the what's next. Now we're going to generate the code. 
Oh, first we got a sign in, guys. <laughs> Okay. It looks like it saved all my content. That's nice. Okay, now we're going to get the code. Go ahead and grab this snippet of code. Close that window. Go over to your admin dashboard and log in if you're not already logged in. Scroll down to Appearance. Editor. And over in the right side, you'll see a bunch of PHP templates. I've tried it in the footer one. It didn't seem to work very well, and the loading was a little funky. So I went to the header PHP, and it seemed to work just seamlessly. I'm going to show you where to add this in exactly. If you scroll down here, OK, right here, it'll say head and body. You want to place the snippet in between the head and body with no spaces. Okay, as you can see right here is the head and down here is the body and this is our, our code of our snippet. So once we've placed that in there we can go ahead and update the file. Now another cool feature is that Add This offers analytics on their website. Once you're logged in, you'll figure out where you can find the analytics. So we're going to go back to the marketing den. We're going to refresh the page. And as you can see in the top right, I have my social um, follow buttons right here. You can choose to hide those or open those back up. Very intuitive, very cool. And as you can scroll down, you'll see stuff that's recommended for you to check out. I like that a lot. Now, they do add this does have a plugin which we're going to use for our blog post because the snippet of code is just not going to do it for the blog post. It's a little more in depth, if you will. So, open up a new tab and go to Google. Type and add this again. It's not the first site you come to, but the, the one below that it says WordPress share buttons by add this. It's a WordPress plugin. Okay, here we are on the WordPress site where you can download the add this plugin. Go ahead and download it right here, this orange button. Then scroll back over and click on your admin dashboard of your website. Go down to plugins, add new, and upload. Choose your file from your computer. And install the add this plugin. Activate the plugin. Now, as you can see, it's right here. Add this social bookmarking widget. It's you can choose to deactivate it, but for not right now, it's activated, which is good. So scroll down to settings. Add this. First page you come to, it's gonna get it's gonna give you the option to have social sharing above your content and above your blog posts, or below your content and below your blog posts. I personally don't want it on the top and bottom. I think it looks a little too messy and uh, maybe even a little confusing. So I disabled it for the top sharing and I enabled it for the bottom. Also, another thing you should know that Add This does have analytics. So after you've created an account with Add This, you just go back to your profile page, click on Settings,
click on profiles and it gives you a profile ID right here go ahead and copy that and come back over to your dashboard and in the top right corner it says add this profile ID right here you can go ahead and paste in your profile ID there and then go down here and hit and add your username and your password then hit save changes as you can see it says valid add this profile ID I actually messed up a few times and instead of dragging over top of it and copying it I just double clicked it and it actually copied blank spaces around the ID so I was kind of fooling around with that and it was saying invalid ID so you gotta make sure you drag over top of it and copy it and it'll work just fine okay we're gonna go to the advanced settings and scroll down here you can choose whether to put it on your home page all your pages archives page categories or excerpts you can also choose what you want to add this to track clickbacks address bar shares copied text you can add your twitter username here language i would keep on auto you can choose whether you want to show the add this analytics in your admin dashboard I selected it because I don't want to have to go back to the Add This website to check out my analytics. It'll be right inside my dashboard when I log in, which is really nice and convenient. Uh, there's a few other settings here. You can put in your Google Analytics property ID. I'm not messing around with that right now. Once you've messed around with those settings a little bit, you can go ahead and save the changes. click back over to the marketing done or your website and refresh the page as you can see there's no social sharing on the blog post right now you're gonna have to forgive me my computer is running a little slow today I don't know why but as you can see it added the social sharing buttons here so I have them on all my blog posts and when you click on the single blog post page it'll be there too I'm gonna to go ahead and close out these other two tabs you scroll down you'll see that they're still here you can also choose to leave a comment and like I said in the bottom right the recommended contents right there very cool and in the top right you have the follow me social sharing buttons there's also one other option you can add a widget over here with social sharing options I'll show you where that widget is scroll down to appearance click on widget in the top left you'll see add this share you can put that in any widget area you want to and then go ahead and save the changes and you will have an awesomely integrated social sharing site in no time doing it this way I really like add this I suggest you guys use it I've ran it on a couple um, softwares to optimize the speed of my website and I assure you add this does not add any load to your WordPress website that's one other reason why I like it so well so I definitely suggest you guys go ahead and get it well that's it for today guys uh, stay tuned for more tricks and tips and how you can make your WordPress site better Seth Riley signing out